This presentation provides Info 289 students with the exact steps in creating the ePortfolio presentation product using the Canvas ePortfolio software system. The Info 289 handbook's organizational guidelines are strate strategically utilized within the scope of the Canvas ePortfolio's functionality to give students the correct structure and format for successful completion of the iSchool's culminating course. Once the presentation product has been created, students can then work with their advisors in creating approved content items which will be, will be used to populate the final presentation product. So let's begin. First click on the account button. Then click on the ePortfolios link. Once you see the ePortfolios interface, click the Create an ePortfolio button. Enter a relevant name for your ePortfolio, for example, using the current semester plus Info 289, and click the Make ePortfolio button to process. You will then be transported to the dashboard of your ePortfolio presentation. This presentation is what will become your final product, which you will submit to your ePortfolio advisor. We will now create the necessary structure and pages of the ePortfolio by clicking the Go to the Actual ePortfolio link. This is the default presentation structure of the newly created ePortfolio presentation. The Canvas ePortfolio presentation is comprised of two components, sections and pages. Sections are used to logically divide and organize the different parts of the ePortfolio. Sections are managed on the left side of the interface. Pages are the actual items students will use to create the content for their Info 289 ePortfolio. Pages are managed on the right side of the interface. A section must have at least one page linked to it, but it can have numbers of pages linked to it as well. In its default state, this newly created ePortfolio presentation has one section and one default page attached to it, the home section and the welcome page. In order to meet the organizational guidelines of the Info 289 handbook, we will create four sections for this ePortfolio presentation. Introduction, Areas of Competency, Conclusion, and Affirmation. Once these sections have been created, we will then link the appropriate Canvas ePortfolio pages to each section in order to meet the content requirements of the Info 289 handbook. We will add one page to the Introduction section, one page to the Conclusion section, and one page to the Affirmation section. For the Areas of Competency section, we will be adding 14 pages, one for each of the iSchool's core competencies. Let's first work on the sections by revising the default home section and adding three sections to the presentation product. We will begin by clicking the Organize Sections link. Click on the cog icon next to the home text and select Rename. When the home text becomes editable, Replace Home with Introduction and press the Return key to process. Let's click the Add Section link and enter Areas of Competency into the text field and press your keyboard's Return key. Click add the Add Section link again and enter Conclusion. Press the Return key and the section is added. Click Add Section one final time and enter Affirmation into the text field. 
press the return key. When we click the Done Editing button, we now have added all the appropriate sections for our ePortfolio product. Now let's move to adding pages to our ePortfolio presentation. For the introduction, conclusion, and affirmation sections, we will only need one page per section. A default page was added to these sections, so all we will need to do is revise the page name for these sections. The top right section of the portfolio interface notifies the user which section they are currently working in. The introduction section. All we need to do is revise the page name to reflect the section name since this will be the only page associated with this section. To revise the name, we click the Organize Manage Pages link. Once we click this link, we are presented with the functions used to organize and manage pages for this section. To revise the name, we click on the COG button and then select Rename. The welcome text is then converted into an editable, te editable text field. Here we, we will replace the welcome text with introduction and then press our return key. We will click done editing button to finish. Now let's revise the page name for the conclusion section. We click on the conclusion link to the left and then we click on the organize manage pages link for that section. Once again, we click on the COG button and select Rename. We replace the new page text with conclusion and then press our return key. Then we click the Done Editing button to finish. Now let's move to the Affirmation section. Moving to the right side of the interface again, we click the Organize Manage Pages link. Clicking on the COG button and selecting Rename, we change the new page text with Affirmation and hit our Return key. We click the Done Editing button to finish. Lastly, we move to the Areas of Competency section by clicking on its link on the left side of the interface. Like the other three sections, we will begin by revising the default page's name. So we click on the Organize Manage Pages link. We once again click on the COG button and select Rename. We replace the new page text with Competency A and press our return key to process the name change. Now we will add 13. 13 pages to this section. So beneath the Competency A text, we click on the Add Another Page link. Once the text field appears, we type in Competency B and press Return. Now we click the Add Another Page button again, and this time we enter Competency and press Return. Again, we click on the Add Another Page link. This time, we enter Competency D and press Return. We repeat these steps for Competencies E, F, G, H, J, K, L, M, N, and O pages. Once we added all the required pages, we click the Done Editing button. Now we have successfully completed creating the Canvas ePortfolio presentation product with our appropriate Info 289 sections and pages.
When we click the Back to the ePortfolio Dashboard link, we are returned to the initial interface of our presentation product. Beneath the Copy and Share this link to give to others access to your ePortfolio text, we see the share link of our ePortfolio. The best way for students to confirm the accessibility of their ePortfolio is to use their primary ePortfolio link to access the ePortfolio content from a web browser that is not logged into Canvas. If a student can access their ePortfolio content successfully and thoroughly without being logged into Canvas, then their Info or Mara 289 advisor should be able to access the content without any issue.